these pieces are trimmed on the bottom. And then I have slip applied on the sides in a quick motion like that, just to add texture and something for the glaze to hold on to. And this is one I just did. Um, this is local clay slip. And in a quick motion, I do a traditional slipwear kind of loop design. And this will fire, um, this will, this is like an, a slip that goes under um, the second layer of slip. So this is a secondary layer of slip. And then a third layer, and then I put iron oxide on top of that. Um, this is the first stage in before it gets all their hard. This is one of the pieces so that slipwear and a copper copper slip with stamping. This is the same wave design with the slip and the copper copper slip on top. Iron brushwork with iron oxide, and then some temoku and a clear glaze that I mixed, um, stamped with pine cones on the edges in a traditional slipwear kind of shape um, with California clay, local Los Angeles clay. This one is, this is a dendritic kind of oxide. The ball clay reacts with the acid and the oxide and makes a rock um, formation. It's slipwear. And this is um, a dish, a dish. I have one fired if you'd like to see it. Some, this is raw cone 10, cone 10 clay on the bottom. And my signature pomegranate stamp. This is a giant tea bowl that I stamped with my sage plants. Um, with cowboy sage from my front yard. Um, this is an early version in stoneware of this new new stamp design with pine um, pine needles and the design from my shoe from my vans.